Hello everybody and welcome to this stencil tutorial um, on how to uh, create multiple actors from one uh, um, actor stencil or uh, a sprite uh, image or whatever. As you can see I have uh, seven uh, characters and I got them all off of one uh, um, sprite piece. I gotta close this reduced size or whatever so you guys can see it as you can see he was all on here I had to actually go in and remove the background in order for you guys to see what I'm doing okay so um, actually I have it under a different one it should be this one here as you can see I removed the background so it's now transparent and this bottom row he's actually supposed to be black for his head and and a few other places but that's okay I don't need all the people and this is just for a demo anyhow okay so with that said as you can see I had made seven copies of him and I went in and removed the uh, people I didn't want out of it so we're gonna do this we're gonna click this and it says would you like to create a new actor type background and font whatever so we're creating an actor type and we're just gonna call this one D okay and we're gonna go create next it's uh, asking us if we wanna set behaviors and all that other stuff you can come back and do that later or you can do it all now it's up to you um, I'm gonna just for this tutorial we're gonna continue on it says uh, this actor type contains no animation would you like to add one and we just hit add oh, trying to move into this thing you're gonna move it there we go as you can see there's no animation uh, looping you can set that if you want you click on that and that brings you this screen here um, this is number of columns this is number of rows offsets um, spacing if you have s certain spacing on your characters uh, you can change the transparency color over here so we're gonna choose our image uh, uh, uh. we gotta bring the thing into the screen because I can't see it okay we're gonna choose this one here and we're gonna go open and the way to figure out how many uh, um, columns you have is to count off all your people and I already counted that so he's 24 there are 24 in, in the row and as you can see there's a little black narrow line that's um, between each one of those and that'll tell you if you have the right number of count so you don't actually have to count it just um, hit the number of uh, columns and, and like I said if it's right you'll know it if it's wrong you'll know it okay and then number of rows like I said I already counted them so this is gonna be seven so now you can see each one in my little people now is in a little box uh, some of these people like this guy right here are being clipped by that line and you can't go 0 0.05 or whatever I wish you could offset it by 0.05 it would be like 0 0.5 but that doesn't work in this it doesn't quite uh, fit right so if you're having uh, spacing issues you need to uh, find a program and try and space them out a little better in order to get them to fit properly okay but for this tutorial that's not what I'm doing I'm gonna just show you that by cropping these we just do that and we hit add and as you can see now we have all our people if I can get this thing to move uh, 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 uh. okay now that we've added all our people nope where'd you go okay you can see it cropped them all but a few of them have a little extra piece on them um, they're so small most people wouldn't even notice it um, but that's okay um, next thing I found is if you want to delete multiple uh, frames you have to go in the same line or in a consecutive order so if you went from um, say one you can go two like that but you could not click this guy um, 
double clicking brings up the image so you can see him um, but if you wanted to get rid of a lot of them in the same category you just hold control and click on them to highlight them and you got to continue in the same uh, pattern or it will break and then you'll have to like start over and then just hit remove and then again you would just hold it until you get to the amount that you want hit remove and that would be your next character in line and so forth so you would make multiple copies and then just keep deleting all the different colors that don't belong in that set okay and that's how I figured out how to get multiple characters from one uh, um, sprite map okay so hopefully this helps some of you if not sorry if you need just a certain one person out of a whole sprite map it's kind of uh, time consuming but it's the only thing I can do because it won't let you like drag and highlight and it won't let you just move them around either it won't let you change the position of them okay so hopefully that'll help some of you I thought it was pretty cool pretty easy because like I said you can create multiple people from one sprite map as you can see it's over here doing animation but if you went back here and you went to actor you can see I took the looping off and then I went to actor 2 and he'd be the next color so if you need uh, um, him to be moving or whatever then that's how you would set that up if you only want like down and up you would just remove all the ones that are opposite of whatever it is that you're trying to do and just make multiple copies like I said it's the fastest I found to uh, put your animations in here okay so have a great one enjoy